The Federal Reserve just raised interest rates by another three quarters of a percent, and it's not going to end there. I'm going to tell you what it means for your bank account in a second, but first, yes, that's another so-called jumbo-sized rate increase on top of the three-quarter percent increase we saw in June and July, plus the half percent increase we saw in May and quarter percent increase we saw in March. Now, we know that seems like a lot, but in reality, it's sort of returning interest rates to a more normal level. We've just become really used to extremely low or near zero interest rates for the last several years. Now, the danger isn't in raising the interest rates to this level. The danger is raising interest rates to this level this quickly. It leaves a lot of room for error and could push the economy into a recession. But the Fed chair says he doesn't have a choice here. He has to keep raising the interest rates aggressively because inflation will not come down. The latest report in August showed inflation was at 8.3 percent despite all those other interest rate increases. The Federal Reserve wants to see inflation at 2 percent. Now, as I've reported on this page repeatedly, raising interest rates is really the major tool that the Federal Reserve has to get inflation under control. And for those of you in the back, the president and Congress has no say in what the Federal Reserve does. Though the Federal Reserve operates within the federal government, it is completely independent and does not have to run these decisions by anyone. So what does this mean for you? Inflation happens because there's too much money circulating in the economy. Raising interest rates makes the cost of borrowing money more expensive, so consumers and businesses start to pull their money out of circulation in the economy to eventually bring prices back down. So if you have a credit card balance, these interest rate increases will bring up the percentage you're charged on that balance. If you're in the market to buy a car and you have to borrow money to make that purchase, those rates will go up. If you have a variable rate mortgage or a home equity line of credit, that will be impacted by this increase. If you have to take out a personal loan, that will likely increase too. The Federal Reserve will meet one more time this year and the chairman has indicated the rate will go up again. And in turn, they are expecting unemployment to also go up.